In this episode of Let's Talk Toads, find out how SCN continues to spread across North America, impacting soybean yields. Anything that spreads soil spreads the nematode. Soybean cyst nematode spreading, even though it's found in every soybean producing state in the nation except West Virginia. Don't be complacent. Don't think that everywhere that has it has got it and I don't need to check any other fields. Um, the nematode doesn't actively spread itself or move itself, but anything that moves soil can move the nematode. And that's windblown soil, that's water wash surface erosion soil, that's soil on farm implements and the tires of farm equipment. Even wildlife can spread it by eating grain after harvest and ingesting soil, flying off and then a day later out the other end of a, a Canada goose or something comes soil with live soybean cyst nematode in it. And it's spreading within states like Iowa where it's already widespread and it's spreading to the fringes of where we've already found it. States like northern Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, they all had new counties uh, discovered in the last few years. I certainly would anticipate that it's spread by flood water. In North Dakota, the Red River separates North Dakota and Minnesota and it flows straight north to Canada. And in 2003, we found SCN for the first time in the southeasternmost county on that river. It would be nice if we could drown soybean cyst nematode. Unfortunately, SCN and all nematodes, while they require oxygen, they absorb it through their skin. And what they absorb oxygen from is water. Um, water contains dissolved oxygen. And so unless a five inch rainfall happens once a week and for six weeks and the soil literally becomes stagnant with water, um, you're not gonna, gonna drown the nematode. It's impossible. Effective SCN management starts by knowing your numbers.